Hey everyone, welcome back to Ani's Life. As you can tell by the title of the video, we got puppy scammed. I know, puppy scammed, guys. Ugh. So, first things first, I would really appreciate it if you share this video just so other people can be made aware of what's going on with these puppy scams and how they do the scams and everything. So, I would really appreciate it if you share the video. So, if you've seen my last video, I'll link it right here in the cards. We were looking for a puppy. My daughters, they really want a puppy. So, um, I, you know, went ahead and said yes. So, my mom um, started her, you know, search for a puppy. And she came upon this website um, that had, and we're looking for a specific kind of puppy. We're looking for Labrador Retrievers. So she came across this website and they had Labrador Retrievers for sale. And so she clicked on the website and the price was $500. Okay, that should have been red flag number one, right? So our search, within our prior search, the dogs have been going for like 2900 3000 3500 really expensive so when she found this one for 500 you know we were just like oh wow that's that's like perfect that's in our budget in hindsight yeah if it seems too good to be true it probably is so the place was in texas so on the website and i'll put the um website right here it's called magiclabradors.com right so you so you go on the website and they have you know pictures of the dogs that are available and some pictures said sold across the dog's picture and some pictures had the uh reserved sign across some of the dogs but then of course the ones that didn't have anything they were available so my mom um so you have to depending on so they named the dogs right so my mom wanted the dog skip it was the beige labrador retriever the one that she wanted so you click skip and then you um contact them and then they send you the information about the dog so my mom called me and she goes, you know, look at the website. You know, I found this um, dog and it's in our price range. So I went on and I tried to like Google the website. I couldn't find anything on the website. Usually you Google a website and you could find like reviews or, you know, just different things about a particular website. I couldn't find anything, guys. When I say anything, I couldn't find anything anything on him so i thought that was strange you know that made you know made you think like what so i even went to the better business bureau website and tried to put in the um the website see if anything popped up nothing so then i just do i googled like um texas breeders um in the better business bureau thing and it was like 30 something pages and I got I went through like 10 pages and I couldn't find it and I was just like oh you know it was kind of strange that I couldn't find anything on it so anyway they contact my mom they emailed her back and said great we have skip available of course we were going to rename the dog I don't even know why people um that are breeders they named the dogs already i don't get that but anyway um we have skip available and so he said and we have a shipping voucher you're in luck we have a shipping voucher um available for an extra hundred dollars and we will ship them to your home and I mean, I'm telling you guys, hindsight is 2020. So I know you guys are like, really? I know. <laughs> now I, you know, I know. So he said for an extra hundred dollars, we will have the dog shipped to your home. So we were like, perfect. We don't have to deal with the whole airport thing, anything. So 
the total is the total she paid was six hundred dollars so he sent over a puppy contract I'll put it right here so everything was you know stated in the puppy contract they guarantee a health certificate they said they were AKC registered um, they let her know what kind of dog food he was um, eating they said that he was puppy uh, potty trained and everything they had everything they emailed her the contract so um, you know it seemed legit the website seemed legit the contract seemed legit everything but it was still in the back of our minds like oh I don't know because we would have to wire the money to them that's red flag number two guys when you have to wire the money but you know we didn't think anything of it because they were in Texas so it's like you know how else are they gonna get the money so my mom filled out the contract emailed it back to them and he asked when will she like the dog to be delivered so my mom said um on the 26th so that you know that would have gave us time to go get the puppy crate and everything for the dogs the dog food the dog pads everything pertaining to the dog and get you know kind of prepare our house to get ready so at the time that was like it was like three weeks from the from the date of the email it would have been three weeks after so um still in the meantime while she's emailing the person back I'm still googling things and I can't find anything I googled the address on the puppy contract and it was you know a house in Texas <sighs> So my mom is like, what do you think? Should we do it? Should we do it? And I'm like, you know, I don't know. She she was just like, oh, I hope this is legit. So the the person emailed her back and said, okay, so you will have to wire the money through Zelle. And they stated that I guess Zelle, you can only wire $400 at a time. So he said you would have to make two transactions. So the first one would be $400 and then the next one would be for $200, which totaled the $600 for the puppy. And so, you know, we didn't know anything about Zelle. We didn't know how it worked. And, you know, everything it sounded like, you know, he had did this before. Clearly he had did this before. So um, her bank is partnered with Zelle so she had to call her bank and they had to enable um, Zelle and so they did or whatever so the when she emailed the person and said okay I set up the Zelle account or whatever so they sent her they said okay this send this to this name and um, I believe it was this email address I think is the name and the email address or something like that so my mom did it. She went through the whole process. She sent the 400 first to the name and, you know, to the person that they said. And then she followed up with the $200 um, transaction. So, and we were just hoping, just like hoping and praying like, oh my gosh, I hope this is not a scam. I hope this is not a scam. <laughs> So anyway, so the person contacting her said, okay, great. We received your payment and we will, we will update you with the shipping and the, um, the shipping number or the, um, what they call it? Yeah. The shipping number, tracking number. That's what he used. We will update you with the tracking number for the dog. So, you know, you guys will be aware of when he's coming on the 26th. So we were like, okay, cool, but still just, just not really, it's not really sitting right with us, right? So then I think it was like a week had passed, right? And my mom said that it was just something was just bugging her. So my mom went to Google the website. So it was like the next day or two days later, we went on the website to see if they put sold across Skip's picture. 
they didn't. So we was kind of like, mm, okay. So then it was like a couple days later, or it might have been like a week later. It, I guess it just wasn't sitting right with my mom. So she uh, put the website in. Guys, the website was gone. It was gone. I'm going to put a picture and show you what it said. The website was gone. So at that moment, my mom knew like, oh my gosh, she called me and I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, really? So then she called the number. The number was disconnected. It was disconnected, guys. So I'm like, mom. We gotta call the bank, call the bank right away. We gotta we gotta see, you know, what they can do. And we were just so disappointed and just so mad. Like, oh my gosh. You know, one, it was just like all we wanted was a puppy for the girls. Like we just wanted a cute little puppy for the girls. And these people are out here just scamming people. So my mom called the bank told them the whole thing you know she wanted to file a fraud claim you know everything so they told her that she was going to have to you know send an email to the claims department and you know describe everything within the email what happened and that they would get back to her and uh what did they say 10 business days or something like that so we were just so disappointed so so my mom called the bank to follow up on the claim to see if she can get her money back. And unfortunately, they said no. They said they cannot give her her money back because I guess when you, you know, wire money through those, you know, things like Zelle and Cash App and PayPal and all that stuff, they consider it like a cash transaction so they couldn't track the people or some things. So guys we got well my mom got scammed out of six hundred dollars she just can't get it back uh, so we're just bummed you know but we're gonna keep trying to try to find a puppy and like i said we want a specific kind of puppy now we've um even said we would settle for the golden retrievers i i personally preferred the golden retrievers more than the labrador retrievers so we're gonna keep trying to look for those but we haven't had any luck we found one that's in our state and it's going for two thousand dollars which it's just out of our price range. I, I really did not know dogs cost this much. This was like opening my eyes. I'm like, wow. So yeah, guys. So just be aware of the things that I've stated in this video. If it sounds too good to be true, nine times out of 10, it probably is. If you have to wire money to them, don't do it let that be a red flag and if they give you some type of contract and it looks like the one that I just put there don't do it it's a scam and unfortunately these people that did this they're just gonna create another website a fake website a fake number fake address everything's gonna be fake and unfortunately they're gonna keep doing it so this is why I wanted to make this video just to make you know people aware of what to look out for okay so thank you guys for watching this video like i said please share the video i'll see you guys in the next video bye